Rosa and Zengerly will meet at center ice. Two referees, Reed Anderson and Nick Gill, Ian McCambridge and Jamison Groner are the linesmen, and we're underway as the puck is stuck on the center dot. Now it's tapped back. Here's Watherspoon. Left to right for Ray. They've got their one-timers low on their forward, so they're running a 2-1-2. -two. Tyler Watherspoon. Rister, he scores over the glove of Jake Patterson. Tyler Watherspoon, we mentioned their top defensive pair. That's yep. Watherspoon's McMurtry left dot. He has a lane going to the net. He shoots. Save made. The rebound scampered for. Still free. McMurtry with a backhander. And finally, it's settled down by Zangerly. Someone's ticket would have been in the net. Smith hit the post. Carrier to the far dot. Gaudreau winds up. He scores! Freddie Gaudreau. So as Stockton had the pressure early, the Admirals took it the other direction. Pressure in the offensive zone, and Frederick Gaudreau will score his eighth of the year to tie the game at one. And that shot came directly from inside that home plate that we talked about right at the beginning of the broadcast. And it's a secondary chance after a shot that went off the post. There's a fumble of the puck here. Gaudreau takes a, just a phenomenal shot. And I would actually venture to say that that one little bit of hesitation here might have thrown the timing off as you see that Parsons actually went down just before secondary on Gaudreau's eighth at 123 it's a fine line Patterson turned it over and it'll be a goal for S Stockton as Mike McMurtry slaps the puck into an empty net at 210 of the second period and the heater back on top two to one so that's a quick that's so big right how do you answer there's Moy shoots and scores there's your answer Tyler Moy with his fifth of the year at 226 so now it's turning into tennis here. It's, it's phenomenal. As a, as a fan of hockey, I love it. I feel <laughs> bad for the goaltenders. But, you know, Tyler Moy, uh, a Harvard product, an outstanding player, an outstanding program, went to the Frozen Four last year. And what he did here is he took the puck from the right side, the left side of the net, and he got the turnover Stole quickly. Stole it away. And he went from just on the left side of the rink to the right side of the rink and surprised the goaltender. It's a bouncing puck, quick release through the defenseman's legs, and Parsons is in a great position. He's at the top of it. Money in the slot. Here's a shot. It's blocked away. Comes to Roback, who shot is tipped in front of a goal. Colby Roback with the shot, and Andrew Mangiapane with the redirection at 9:49. And Stockton has taken a three-to-two lead to go in the five-on-three power play. Right circle. Pedersen. Parsons the save. The rebound in the paint, and they score. Freddie Gaudreau. His second of the game is ninth of the year. A huge five on three power play goal. Ties the game at three. It looked like Parsons there made an outstanding initial save and then overreacted to what he thought was a rebound. And it, it took him out of position and he actually overskated and, and reached too far to allowing Goudreau to pick up the puck. So if we look here, there's the overreaction. Goudreau just skates right past uh, Dustin Trout there uh and he's gonna want that one back but there's the overreaction he over he over skates it and he's lying on the ice prone unable to make what would be an otherwise tied at three right point shillington to manjapani left circle full with a shot and patterson nice slides left to right labrie got the stick on it in the slot mm -hmm. to slow up the timing a bit but still a good save and a good shot from spencer Fu. Yeah, it was a great save going again from his left to his right, coming across, focused on the shot. And what I liked about it is that the shot came up into his chest. He was able to track it all the way in and then keep it trapped against his body and did not allow rebound. So you see a great one-timer high up into that uh, upper right-hand side area, which is difficult to squeeze. Here's Army behind the goal. Turns and shoots. That saved Patterson. The rebound goal. scored. P.C. Labrie. P.C. Labrie. P.C. Labrie gets the goal, his fifth of the year. Good work from Derek Army, leading to the goal for Labrie, and the Admirals have its first lead of the game at 12.55 of the third. What an outstanding opportunity for Milwaukee, created off a secondary chance. Here's a turnaround shot, high off, uh, high off Parsons' chest. He's not sure where it is, drops in, PC's in the right place at the right time. And again, it's just creating these secondary shots. Looks like Moy got a piece of it. With the hand there or something, and, yeah. And PC almost looked like he hit it out of midair and into the net. And that's, and what, that's what they're arguing. They're saying hand pass on Tyler Moy. But here's the thing about the American Hockey League. You can't call that. Or if you if you miss it, you can't go back in Schmerl's lead as Watherspoon leaves the puck for the trailing Shinkarik. Almost too much space there. And Trennan will steal it. Trennan has a break. Trennan has Smith to the net. Passes to Smith. He scores! Short-handed goal. 
A loss of momentum. It's five to three on Smith's ninth of the year. So that's exactly what we were talking about and Stockton trying to create a gap between the PK and the PP. Trennan anticipated that and the drop was just not good enough. And as a result, you have a goal and it looks like Parsons might have injured himself on that play and I don't oh, know yeah. how. I'm not, I'm not really sure where it is he got hurt if it was in his groin or if he slams his head, oh, it looks like he Watherspoon hit. In a bad spot, and then, yeah, twisting that neck or whatever as Watherspoon hits him on the fall on the slide. And that's happened to me before in game. Now Emil Pedersen tapped it, but not out. Shillington with a shot, left pad, save Patterson. The rebound, he could put himself in a bad spot. Centered on the near pipe, and that one is in off a of skate. And like you said, it's a 5-4 game with a power play goal on a wraparound as Patterson was overextended. And again, no icing. Rasmus Anderson is back, five seconds left. He slaps a pass on the right wing. Got to the blue line, two seconds to go. Here's a chance for Shakirik off the bar. Shakirik off the bar at the horn. And Milwaukee escapes. Milwaukee escapes with a 5-4 win for Jake Patterson, his first career American Hockey League win.